Do you want to know how to talk to your cat? Carry on watching. Cats are really, really fluent in observing body language and they know what our body, body language means as, almost as well as they do their own species. But make sure when you're communicating verbally with your cat that you match the tone of your voice to the instruction or the command or the, the phrase that you're actually wanting to get across. In other words, if you're trying to communicate some level of excitement or some, some playtime or something, then bring your energy up, still keeping your, your voice nice and low and you know encourage them with your energy and your voice to say, you know, come on, it's playtime. You can think about matching gestures to words. So for example, I've taught Hugo how to wave, but I don't have to give him the ver verbal command, I can just do this and he'll wave. Don't stare hardly at your cat because for them, in their species communication, it's really threatening. So make sure you always um, look softly at them and give plenty of slow blinks in between. You might not know it, but you may already have a cat voice. And this is a way that your voice changes when you start talking to a cat because cats, they, they like sort of um, slower, lower, but almost baby-like um, noises so you know if you're shouting at your cat that's I'm not going to like that so always keep your tone quite low and gentle and rhythmic and what do you do if your cat bites you you say ow and then you put the cat down so the cat will know that that ow it doesn't have to be aggressive it will just be different a different tone that that, that is not acceptable behaviour. So that, that way, using your tone, your cat can decipher whether you're happy and pleased with him or whether you're not so happy. And that happens in natural cat language anyway. Hopefully by now you're totally fluent in speaking cat. And don't forget, give me a like and a follow for more cat brainworks.